Yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy, Pony Montana. And in this video, we are going to be going over three things that will be better in Madden 24 than they were in Madden 23. And these three things will definitely help take your game to the next level if you guys implement them properly. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, or I could just drop this little nice little beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. Like the video, subscribe, know the gang. Or just comment down below FTA because it's for the algorithm and it helps push these videos to more and more people. Shout out to the Noti gang. Shout out to the FTA squad. Appreciate y'all. Uh, nice little run game. This is actually going to be my first topic of conversation here. Top three things, in my opinion, that will be better in Madden 24 or that weren't in Madden 23. I'll have one honorable mention, and that'll be at the end of the video, that we can discuss a little bit. Now, if I do miss anything, leave it down in the comment section. So let's get right into it, man. Number one beautiful timing on the replay here running the ball now i don't mean just running the ball but any kind of short game that you can like potentially develop i'm talking screen passes i'm talking read options i'm talking triple options i'm talking you know speed options uh jailbreak screens whatever the case is the short game specifically running the ball is going to work in your favor a lot more this year now, the reasoning for that, for those of you guys who don't know, is blocking has been cranked. It's been cranked all the way up and not necessarily in the passing game, but more so in the running game. So as, as, as you can see here, this is the first time that they run this uh, this pitch play. So right now, the adaptive AI nonsense doesn't really carry over. Uh, so if you have a run scheme, a short game scheme where you are sitting there developing the short game easily you have a, a pretty decent potential to take the ball for a for a lot of yardage on any given play because the run blocking is just that much more dynamic than it has ever been and that's what it seems like in the beta it was the same way and in the first gameplay that they dropped it's been the same way so jailbreak screens where you have three linemen breaking out to sit there excuse me two linemen you know a tight end and maybe a wide receiver just breaking out to guard anybody that's you know you know the pulling guards are just going to go crazy in those kinds of situations same thing with option plays same thing with you know speed options triple options any type of power play anything like that these guys are looking to get to the second level to add to your blocking to completely create a beautiful run scheme that you guys can finally do that in this game hasn't been able to do it for a long time uh since since i formed stretch left stretch stretch right was a thing with you know eric dickerson and stuff like that but it looks like in this year's game we might be able to have a good scheme simply just by being able to perfect our short game so if you guys are golfers and stuff like that yeah you're good at driving but when it comes down to hitting that putt you know hitting that 15 yard putt that's difficult for you well this is this game it's allowing you to perfect that pretty much so get the run game down and you'll end up excelling your madden games and just being better in madden now of course there is going to be some kind of run defense that works and does good and blah 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 but obviously if you take your if you take time to be patient again perfect example right here another a screen pass where these guys are running up the field to get into the second level to block beautiful but again if you guys are adding these types of things to your plays, your game will excel easily, 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 easily. Now, number two. Now, these are interchangeable in my opinion, but I think this is, uh, I'm going to go with zone defense being my number two thing because there's always going to be some kind of zone beater in every single Madden, but right now it looks like zone is top tier. And this is a perfect example. Again, thank you. Clef, thank you so much for getting the interception in zone, by the way zones are 10 times better they react slightly faster the player movement just looks like they attack attack on the ball a lot easier a lot better than they did last year um and again this is all going to be even faster when it comes to madden ultimate team unless your team is just absolutely terrible um these guys are definitely going to play and react a lot better in that game mode, which a lot of us are going to be playing. Whether you're playing franchise mode, you're going to have better players surrounding your team um, overall. You're not going to have a 67 overall just because he's got 90, 98 speed chilling on a corner. You know what I mean? It's just, he, he, That's not going to happen in, in those kinds of game modes. So your zone defense will be better. 
And that one is huge because in Madden 23, the meta was man coverage. And once you learned how to beat man coverage, those blitzes didn't, didn't really affect you. It, it affected you if somebody was coming out a dollar because you could sit there and put so many different kinds of defensive adjustments while having that edge pressure come every single time free. But once you learn how to beat man coverage, it's like you have two man being routes, three technically is how I, is how I used to do it. And then that's it. No blitz really, really hurt you as bad as, as a zone blitz ever. The worst defensive, well, excuse me, the best defensive year was when nickel blitz was a thing, which is a, which was a cover two shell uh blitz that came off of the edge almost untouched every single time zone defense mind you it was the it was the hardest blitz to ever beat the looping blitz zone defense three three five odd flip zone defense these are defenses that gave everybody so many fits and it's because you have to take time to realize and, and react to the defense moving while also trying to prevent a blitz from coming over the top of you and, and destroying you zone defense a, a, a Madden where his own defense is top tier is a Madden that I want to play. Man coverage, garbage. It's like you can set it and forget it and just not really care about actually adjusting and doing anything on defense. Zone changes that. And the fact that zone defense is better and it's something that you should learn how to run better. And I'll have something for you guys, obviously, on the channel at some point. But it's definitely something that you guys need to get better at to get, you know, to, to excel your Madden game and take it to the next level. Now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna rewind this because this is this is gonna bring it to my third point here. Um let's go back real quick just so I can get one of these uh routes off. So number three, in my opinion, for for this video, roll out corners. It is something that used to be a thing in Madden 22 and Madden 21. Uh, I believe if you guys watch Throne, he he made the he made the formation near close flex very popular with the rollout corners in that formation. Uh, tight tight offset the corner out in there, the rollout corner in that worked beautifully in that formation, and it looks it's looking like it's back in full force in this game. I, I, I have nothing I don't see anything wrong with that specific thing being in this game again but I will tell you guys to make sure that you guys are using it it's something that will just add a whole nother dynamic to your offense in Madden 24 it did not work in Madden 23 but this is a perfect example right here of it working beautifully in Madden 24 this is something that will make your game 10 times better it's not it's no longer the let's let me sit in the pocket Dan Marino style no legs Peyton Manning Pey Peyton Manning-esque just sitting there chopping at the feet waiting for a guy to open up no we're gonna be able to mobile to be mobile and move out in the pocket and go crazy with our passes now it's Madden 22 pre-escape artist, and that's a good Madden in my opinion. That's something that we need to make sure that we have all of our bases set on because once you start being mobile in the pocket, whether it be left and right, left and right, it'll also teach you to start being mobile vertically. So you'll start climbing up in the pocket a little bit. You'll start being able to do things like that, which will help you out tremendously and just becoming a better Madden player in general. But obviously... That is part of learning how to scheme around your play style as well is being able to be mobile. So gone are the days uh, where Tom Brady is the greatest thing to come out in the game. Same thing with Dan Marino kind of players and, you know, those those pocket QBs. You want to have a little bit of mobility in the game, and that's going to help you guys out. So the Josh Allens of the world, the Mahomes, the Lamar Jacksons, the Anthony Richardsons, the CJ Strouds, the, you know, the list goes on with the mo with the mobility in the game. So make sure you guys are perfecting that little, that small tidbit rolling out. And I know I'm talking a lot, mind you, and I apologize if y'all don't like it. If y'all don't like it, that's just what I do. I'm sorry. But these are huge, in my opinion. These are huge things that will help you out in Madden. 24. So I said I had an honorable mention, and the honorable mention comes from the beginning of the game here, and it was the absolute first play. And I think this is something that definitely needs to be talked about more often times than not. And I hope that the KO meta does not come back in Madden 24. Touch passes. Touch passes, the momentum, the catch and stride. 
the no losing any type of acceleration, none of that. Touch, passes, momentum, catches. You're going to be able to throw passes over the top of the, of the defender's head, uh, over the top of your receiver's head, so you can catch balls in stride. And this is my honorable mention because, obviously, you need to throw the ball open for this to work. Specifically, you need to have a guy that's wide open for this to actually happen. But there's so many plays in Madden 23 where you, you're you underthrowing the ball or it feels like you're underthrowing the ball simply because of the way that the quarterback throws it and then the wide receiver catches it. It felt like the defense reacted faster than the wide receiver reacted to whatever ball was being thrown. And that is something that frustrated me. If I seen that I had a touch pass, a guy literally breaking open, I just lobbed it. Instead of me thinking, oh, this is a, this is a, this is a gimme touchdown. This is this is a gimme. He cooked. He barbecued chicken. Nope. I ended up having to get my ball knocked out. I had to I had to high ball pass it. You know, it it completely took away the fact that you couldn't touch pass it in the game, and you couldn't even throw the ball without having the high ball. Now that is no longer the case. You will have these momentum catches where you're just going to be catching passes in stride and going absolutely crazy. So this is my honorable mention. This is not on the list of the top three. The top three, again, are running the ball or perfecting the short game, zone defense, and rollout corners. Those rollout plays will is going to make your game that much more dynamic. That's it for the video. There's not much else to go over. If I missed anything, again, leave it down in the comment section so I could try to help. You know, I'm, I've broken this gameplay down 3 million times and I'll break it down 3 million times more if you guys need anything else on Madden 24. As soon as as soon as any Madden 24 info, gameplay info drops, this will be the place uh to check it out because I'll be diving deep into any little thing that comes out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. My name is Pony Montana. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out you guys.